get every angle. So, oh, awesome. so point things out and, yeah, and it'll yeah. have them on video. So I'm just unplugging this just because of kind of what I was talking about with, um, you know, taking fuel and fire away from it. Right. And then back on this side is our ignition coil back here. So I'm just going to unplug that. Sometimes they're a little stubborn. And then from there, we'll just take all of these uh, spark plug wires off. No, we've not seen it right. This is a first time Maybe. Yeah, if you want to go in there, you're more welcome. Okay. There's a little And as far as, especially for the age of this thing, the, the built is in really good shape. Usually, yeah. stuff like this, you know, you'll see all kinds of deposits in the bilge and everything else, but uh, it's in pretty good shape. So, obviously, this is the fuel tank here. Or yes, sir, the bottom know. one. Yep. yep, and then that's your fresh water yep. tank here. Fresh. Yeah. And then this is the water heater, and it's looped into the engine. So okay. that way, you kind of, if you're running out on the lake, you get right. hot water on demand, and you're not waiting on it to, gotcha. you know, heat up. Um, and then your fresh water pump right here. And this is going to be the inlet side, so you've got a nice strainer here. Yep. If you do ever have a, an issue where you haven't used it in a while, and, it, uh -huh. and, it, and the pump turns on, but you're not getting any water pressure, right? Generally, these strainers the strainer. will clog up with mold. Okay. Um, just from you know the quality of the water that's usually out um, at marinas and stuff, it's not you know great. So yeah. it'll, if it sets in there, it'll just stop it up. So do you have to? Uh, is the hot water heater automatic if, if the engine's going, or do you have to do something to turn it on or off? Um, so it should it should run hot water from the engine if okay. it's good and warm. Okay. But um, you do have a breaker, you know, down in the cabin mm -hmm. for the for the electric side of it. Um, oh, okay. It runs on AC power. Ah, gotcha. Okay, so um, it has both. Yes, okay. sir. So you'd either have to have, and I don't see a generator anywhere. No, so, it didn't have one. Um, you'd yeah. have to be plugged into shore power for mm -hmm. it to, you know, generate heat that way. Right. Okay. Yeah, very good. And that is something too, you know, when they go to winterize, you want to be sure that whoever winterizes the boat, um, you know, takes care of the water heater um, because they do need to blow this side of things out as well as the sure. other side. So. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. Hey, Marie, did you grab my phone? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I just wanted to... Okay. See what these plugs look like. Hopefully, we see some fresh plugs. We'll look for uh, signs of pre-detonation or you know fuel knock or anything. Right. Right. What are these? Uh, the air hoses back here for? Is that uh, so the, that's the, the blower exhaust? Or? Yes, sir. The okay. blower, um, and they're routed how they should be. So um, basically, you know, obviously, fuel vapors are heavier than the air. Right. So it's routed down to the bottom of the bilge, and then exits, you know, right where it should. Everything looks like it's in good order, and we'll test them. Um, What's make the, sure. is the open end there for? Uh, so that's is, just is that kind just of a vent. A suck, uh, okay. Yeah. So. Um, they, it, it's kind of typical of them all to, to have just an open hose going to atmosphere outside. Um, oh, okay. So the, the other end of that just goes to the atmosphere? Yes. Sir. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. It just gotcha. runs out. Okay. And okay. I don't know why they do it. Okay. You know, I'm sure there's some science behind it, but okay. you know, the main one is that, that one going into the bilge. Cause a lot of times what happens is they'll break off and then people don't replace them. Yeah. And, uh, I definitely a good thing to have. And you know, if you uh, if you're in a hurry and you don't want to wait on the blower to run, you can always just open the engine hatch. That makes sense. And, and just let it air out. Yeah. Or if you know if it fails and, and you're waiting on a part or something, you can just pop this puppy right. open for a few seconds and okay. and it's fine. And with the blower, it needs to be one to three minutes or yeah, something. Or how yeah, yeah, somewhere in there. Yeah, yeah like two couple minutes okay. you know generally what i always do is just like first thing i touch when i get on the boat right. you know flip the battery on hit okay. the blower load all your stuff yeah, on and get it cooler or gotcha. whatever else and then, gotcha. and then you're good you okay know? okay does come out and some of it doesn't. I just don't want to promise you. Like, what uh, rule should I follow on putting other stuff in here? Um, I would keep everything away from the exhaust if, you know, if you're using it as, I, I honestly wouldn't, because there's no dividers, I wouldn't really store things in here. Okay. Especially, you know, with how much you're going to be pitching uh -huh. and rolling. Um, if anything were to get into the belt or lay up against, you know, up here the exhaust isn't so hot. Um, when the boat's running, you should be able to touch both of these. If, okay. If you can't, then you got a flow issue or a yeah. bad impeller. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's kind of a general rule of thumb, you yep. know. Um, in spring, when you go to start the engine for the first time and it's uh -huh. not sitting, right. 
that when you fire it up, you know, you can kind of judge just by touching it by hand and see if one's hotter than the other, or, you know, if, you, if it's so hot that you can't really touch it, then you got cool problems. There's an issue. Okay. Um, and that's even, here, even if it's been running for a while, they should still be yes, cool. Yes, well, Not yes, cool, sir. to touch, but touchable. Okay, okay. Yeah, and then down here, obviously, um, this is before the water injection down here, so it's going to be really hot. So okay. just, you know, be careful not to touch that. Um, and it looks like these manifolds, like with all these plugs, and this isn't factory hardware, um, they look like they've been replaced at some point. And, the, and a good thing about it is that they're actually mercury manifolds. Um, when you start getting into aftermarket Sierra stuff, so they're they're good mm -hmm. but they're not yeah, they're, they're not, not factory right. yeah so is it possible that this was done when the engine was done or was it done earlier um it's possible <laughs> they, they do kind of show signs of age you know a little okay. bit of rust around um not not anything that i'd be worried about you know with how much heat runs through them okay it's kind of typical gotcha. um these plugs do look a little actually you see that black overspray yeah, yeah. so these are factory plugs whether it be from this new engine um, it's hard to say, but you know that's just a telltale sign that these are whatever plugs came in the engine um, when it was built because you know they spray paint the engines with the plugs ah, in them. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Um, so I always try to tell people that I've, I've seen boats with a thousand hours on that the factory plugs in them. Okay. And I mean it's not okay. great for them, but you know it doesn't doesn't hurt. But it's not a sign of significant issues or anything. No, yeah. especially with this being a newer engine, you know, if they sent them an assembled long block, then it probably had the plugs in it. Okay. So they, and they don't look, I mean, they don't look terrible. They look fairly, fairly new. Okay. Um, and it's got a good clean burn on it. You know, what you don't want to see is a ton of carbon buildup or black sooty deposits right. on it. And then if it's white, then that is kind of a sign of pre-ignition. Okay. Like the ignition timing will be off. Um, and that, that's kind of when stuff starts to get hairy because that's a lot hotter of a mixture. Um, and then you start melting yeah. tops of pistons and right. Pretty good. Hey Maria, why don't you take this and do some stuff with it down there? And can I have my phone? You can. Is it still going? Yeah. It's still going. Yeah, um, 
It is December 1, 2022. It is about 37 degrees out. It's nice, the table turns. this patch here. No, I'm, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. You guys me. have enough room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is this water, is the water heater factory or do they add that at some point? Yeah, it's factory, okay. so uh, 